Hey guys, I'm the Jedi Master, and I would like to welcome you guys to my first ever episode of Uncovering the Star Wars Lore. Now, what this series is going to be about, basically, is I'm going to talk about Star Wars lore, and I'm going to uncover the mysteries that are often held behind it for casual, uh, casual fans of the Star Wars series that want to get a little bit more into it, and for people who may not understand as much. Uh, who are really in Star Wars, but they don't really understand all the lore and whatnot. Yeah, I just have to point out, the Star Wars lore is vast. It is huge and massive, and there's a lot to it. So, the, this could be a long-running series, but what I need from you guys is to comment down below what you want me to explain further for each episode. That way, I know which way you guys want me to do it in what order you want me to do it in because like I said it's so vast also I did not do this all by myself I had to do a bunch of research so some sources will be down in the description box below uh, I didn't quote them verbatim I just used them for a couple things that I did not know on my own such as Wikipedia mostly Wikipedia so yeah just make sure to click on those links down below if you want to read a lot more about them um Anyway, let's jump into this. So, the prophecy of the Chosen One is that a Jedi legend was foretold that would destroy the Sith and restore balance to the Force. Now, there's a ton of misconceptions with uh, restoring balance to the Force. This means that they would unify, they would destroy the Sith and make the Force so that there was no light side or dark side. Essentially, a Grey Jedi. Which, if you guys don't know about a Grey Jedi, I'll go more into that in, a, in another video if you guys want to know that. Anyway, so the Jedi prophecy was often foretold like that. It was a, a Jedi obviously interpreted a little bit differently. Uh, they were like, oh, they're going to destroy the Sith and bring light side to everybody. That's not what happened, though. So the Chosen One is of is as many Star Wars fans know Anakin Skywalker also known as Darth Vader now a lot of people are gonna be confused like he fell to the dark side and he did all that yes he fell to the dark side he was on the light side and he fell to the dark side meaning he had tasted both sides he had been in touch with both sides and what had happened is after falling to the dark side he had essential. He had purged all the Jedi, apart from two. Uh, even though he actually meant to kill Obi Wan, but all of this kind of fit into the prophecy. By him killing all the Jedi, he had managed to secure two people who would teach his son Luke to become a Jedi. Obviously, Luke believed it as we can see from Return of the Jedi Luke believed that there was still good in his father and wanted to have him wanted to redeem his father and in those final moments whenever Anakin has to s decide yes I said Anakin not Vader because Vader was his evil persona was his evil his Sith Lord persona Anakin himself had to decide at the last second whenever his son, Luke Skywalker, was getting shocked by Darth Sidious, or the Emperor, as we more commonly know him, or Palpatine, if you want to call him that. He was getting shocked and dying, and, he, and Luke's calling out to him, help me, help me. And Anakin had to make a choice right then and there to either let Luke die and, fall, and let the dark side take over the galaxy, or to kill Sidious and he decided to kill Sidious fulfilling the prophecy of the chosen one defeating the dark side after Sidious had died going into the extended universe not following the sequel trilogy he, the Sith kind of fell apart they tried to revive themselves with and they tried to have Sith masters that kept getting ki shut down and all that kind of stuff and what Vader essentially had become at that point from, fall, from being on the light side, falling to the dark side, then redeeming himself, he was a Grey Jedi. He had managed to become a Grey Jedi. A lot of people misinterpreted as 
he became good again. He f he went back to the light side. He did all that. No, he acted out of passion, out of love for his son, which is something the Jedi do not do, to do something good. Jedi are told to leave out passion, leave out emotion, not feel anything. They're meant to, they, they're told that it's the way to the dark side. Well, the dark side embraces anger and strength and power. And the nice in between of those is where the great Jedi sit. What this had taught Luke is that acting out of certain emotions can be good in certain circumstances, while acting out of other emotions can be bad in certain circumstances, which led Luke to become a great Jedi and teach other Jedi to embrace some dark side, I embrace a little bit of the dark side, embrace a little bit of the light side. But that is the reason why Anakin Skywalker was the chosen one. He had destroyed the Sith and he had shown he had done it out of not because it was the right thing to do. Well, it was the right thing to do, but not just because it was the right thing to do. Not because he had suddenly seen the light again. Not because he wanted to become a Jedi Master. Not because of the he was he believed in the rebellion. He did it for the love of his son. And Jedi are not supposed to do that. So he had managed inside himself. He had managed at that point to take the light and the dark side and put it together, unifying the Force, and showing his son, who at that point was the last remaining Jedi, to act off certain emotions and not others. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. It does help out a lot. Tell a friend today about my Star Wars channel. It's pretty awesome. And may the Force be with you. Always.